Good day, everyone, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. My name is Teacher Bell. I am creating video lessons that could help your children in their studies. And the lessons in this channel can also be used as teaching media to facilitate teachers in their online teaching. And today we'll be talking about multiplication. For those who struggle in multiplying multi-digit numbers, this is the video for you. So let's get started. Multiplication problem consists of two sets of numbers. The first set is called the multiplicand and the other the multiplier. To show that these numbers are to be multiplied, we use the times symbol represented by x. The multiplicand and the multiplier can be one digit, two digits, three digits, or even more. Before we go further with multi-digit multiplication, let's start with a single digit number. The concept of multiplication is simply the same as repeated addition. What do I mean by repeated addition? Take a look at these example. 4 times 5. 4 as the multiplicand is simply telling us the number of times we should use 5. In this case, 5 is added 4 times which is equals to 20. So if we switch the position of the numbers, making it 5 times 4, this means 4 will be added repeatedly 5 times like this. And altogether, we get the same answer, which is 20. Therefore, we can say that in multiplication, even if we reverse the position of the numbers, the product will still be the same. We also have to remember that multiplication is not limited to a single digit number. In many situations, we have to do multi-digit multiplication. See this example, 324 times 2. How do we go about it? What's the first thing we should do? Although we said earlier that regardless of the position of the numbers, we have the same answer. But it is still advisable to place the number with many digits first as the multiplicand and the number with less digit as the multiplier. Why do you think so? The less digit in the multiplier means the less numbers you have to put together. In this case, because we only have one digit multiplier, whatever the result is the final answer. Don't forget to draw the line below the numbers and the symbol times. As usual, start with the ones place, tens place, and hundreds place. From the ones place, we have 4 times 2, which is 8. In the tens place, we have 2 times 2 equals 4. And in the hundreds place, 3 times 2 is 6. There you have it. 324 times 2, the product is 648. Let's try another one. 526 times 63. As usual, start with the ones place, tens place, and then the hundreds place. Notice that we have a two digit multiplier where we have to multiply one at a time, which means we have to start with three first and leave six for later. Here we have 6 times 3, which is 18. And 18 is a two-digit number, but we can keep only one digit for each place. So we keep 8 and carry over 1 to the tens place. In a tens place, we have 2 times 3 equals 6, and we add the extra 110 we saved earlier, making it 7 in total. Next, 5 times 3 is 15. So we give 5 and carry over 1, but because there isn't any other digit to multiply, simply bring 1 down. We're done with 3. This time, multiply by 6. And because 6 is in the tens place, all the results must be written aligned with the tens place. Or better yet, write 0 below the ones place so you won't forget. So we have 6 times 6 equals 36. We keep the 6 and carry over 3 to the tens place. 
Then we have 2 times 6, which is 12. Then add 3. Altogether, we get 15. Give 5 and carry over 1 to the hundreds place. Then we have 5 times 6 equals 30 plus 1 that makes 31. And because there's no other digit to multiply with, there's no need to carry 3 over, so just pull it back down. Lastly, let's add the numbers. Start with 8 and 0, which is 8. 7 and 6, we get 13, so we keep 3 and carry over 1. 5 and 5 equals 10, added by 1, we have 11. Keep 1 and carry over the other. Now we have 1, 1, and 1. We get 3 in total. Notice that there isn't any other digit to be added to 3, so simply pull 3 down. Here is it. The product of 526 and 63 is 33,138. Before we finally end our lesson, let's have a quick review. In a multiplication problem, the first set of numbers is called the multiplicant and the other is called the multiplier. The answer in a multiplication problem is called the product. Here are some words related to multiplication. Words like multiply, multiple, the symbol x for times, and the answer called the product. So whenever a problem is asking you to find the product, all you have to do is multiply. There you have it, all you need to know about multiplication. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button and share to people you know, for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.